Mark Gilday from InsuranceSalesControl.com, InsuranceSalesControl.com. Happy Sunday to you. Just got done churching. Um, I, I may sound a little bit um, funny, and the reason I may sound funny is because one of my relatives came over and uh, said, oh, no, I'm not contagious. I'm, I swear I'm not contagious, uh, but I think I caught a little bit of a head cold. So um, I, uh, I got done with what I need to do. I came in the office to take care of a few things, and I figured I'd share with you all uh, some answer to a question that's that's asked. I mean, whenever I speak in front of a live group, one of the questions, obviously, is, hey, Mark, what, what books do you recommend that we read to help us with insurance sales? So I have compiled my, my five lists of books that I think will help anybody accelerate their insurance business and supercharge your sales activity. Um, the first one is a classic. It's called Think and Grow Rich. Now, Think and Grow Rich is really the basic for any success uh, book or program uh, written by Napoleon Hill, who went around and interviewed the most successful people at the last turn of the century, uh, the billionaires. These were the titans of business. And he identified the traits of the most successful people. So uh, I think this is should be on everybody's list and should be one of the first books you read. Now, I have this. I have a kind of a cool copy, um, which was the first print from the foundation. Um, and I've read it several times. I think you can read it several times. It certainly will set you on a target and, and give you some information that you might not have thought of been useful, but it really is. So this is high on the list. One of my top five books for insurance, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, Napoleon Hill, by the way, is interesting because he got involved in insurance a little later on in life uh, with an insurance company. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. The second book that I'm going to recommend uh, it's by an author everybody knows, Tony Robbins, but it's not Unlimited Power. It's Awaken the Giant Within. Now, again, I got the original hard copy of this guy because uh, it goes back to the 1990s, for me, anyway, my journey. Um, when I read this, there are exercises in the book, and I actually did the exercises and filled in the pages. Uh, and I can still see my notes in there, but I'm not going to show you because they're too personal and silly at the time. Um, however, what it did do is open my mind and allow me to change my attitude about a whole lot of things and really hone in on the business and what I wanted. And as a result of reading this book, I made some drastic changes in my personal and business life that really set me going. Now, this was one of the reasons that I decided to um, really establish what I wanted out of my insurance business and uh, put it down in, in different parts. And I created a system for selling, as, as you all know. Um, and that system allowed me to sell, uh, or at least be responsible for over $200 million in insurance business in a 10-year period. That's over $20 million a year for 10 years straight. Um, I remember the first case when I put my system in place after reading this book, um, I sold the first case, which was worth over a million dollars in commissions, compensations for the agency. Um, I did not get anywhere near that, but I didn't do too bad. And, you know, I got to retire in my 40s. It was kind of cool. Um, and everybody who knows my story understands that. But this book, um, Awaken the Giant Within, was the blueprint for Anthony Robbins' seminar, Date with Destiny. And at the time, in the 1990s, mid-1990s, he charged $10,000 for people to go over to Fiji and spend three days with him teaching what is in this book personally. Really strong book. You get a paperback for $8. Awaken the Giant Within. Go to the Amazons and take a look at that. The third one is kind of interesting. Um, it was written by Sidney Biddle Barrows. Now, for those of you who may know that name, shame on you because you really shouldn't, uh, she was the Mayflower Madam. The Mayflower Madam was a notorious madam, a.k.a. brothel, a.k.a. ladies of the night. Now, why in the hell, Mark, are you putting this on a must-read for insurance people? Well, because she didn't get number one by being sexy. She got number one by being smart and business savvy. And this book details her process for not just her business, but any business. Uh, she wrote this a while back, about 10 years ago, and uh, I think it's wonderful because it equates the sales process to a show. And a show, every scene is choreographed in that show. So the opening scene would be your, your outreach in marketing. Act two will be your initial contact. Act three will be the back and forth. And she tells you how to step-by-step step choreograph the entire sales campaign. Now, what's interesting about this, when we got into the larger cases in the group benefits business, um, we actually did this. And a lot of people thought it was interesting that we would suddenly come up with these ideas. It wasn't interesting because I went out and bought the book and I started doing it. 
And uh, we have uh, had a call center at that time, and we actually went around to the call center and showed every aspect of the call center um, because it was cool and because nobody had ever seen the inner workings of a call center or a computer room with all the wires and stuff, and it was cool. But it was because of this book that I did that. It was because of this book that told you to choreograph every step of the sale and make the entire company part of the cast. Very strong. Um, it's uh, Uncensored Sales Strategies at Creative Secrets. Just go online and look up Sidney Biddle Barrows. Um, and also, uh, it's co-written by the author of the next book that I highly recommend, which is No BS Sales Success, written by Dan Kennedy. Now, a lot of folks who have been around in business know who Dan Kennedy is. Dan Kennedy is a marketing guru. Um, you could say he was instrumental in the infomercial. You could say he was instrumental in a lot of things because he was. He was a copywriter, a success coach, and uh, his company is still around today, and I highly recommend any of his materials. So if you ever get a chance, uh, go to the bookstore, look up anything with Dan Kennedy, buy it. It's worth it. He put out uh, a great book on marketing letters, a great book on marketing plans, but this one, for insurance people, I highly recommend the No BS, that stands for Male Bovine Fecal Matter, uh, no BS Guide to Sales Success. Um, it's a really easy read, and I got this, and I was so impressed with it. I went and bought 10 copies, and I started giving them out to the people <laughs> who were my friends in the agency. And uh, it really is a great book, so you really should take up the copy. Again, it's, it's pretty cheap. You can go on the Amazons in that jungle and get it delivered to you the same day, but um, I highly recommend this book to anybody in sales, let alone insurance sales, that will really help you hone in and get to that next level. And last, but certainly not least, a book written by the person who brought Napoleon Hill into the insurance business with him, W. Clement Stone, The Success System That Never Fails. Now, W. Clement Stone, some of you may recognize the name. Uh, he, if you do a little Google search, you see him in a little mustache. He looks like the Monopoly Man, pretty much. Um, and as he aged, he looked like an old Monopoly Man. He always had the bow tie and everything. Really interesting character. Um, I, I was ha had the pleasure of meeting his right-hand man, uh, the person who opened Puerto Rico, the person who used to drive around in this big, giant Cadillac, yellow Cadillac, and just killed it with Combined Insurance. And that's the company he started, Combined Insurance. He started that company uh, in the Depression with $100. And it's a billion-dollar organization. He actually did that. This is, this is that type of man. Now, you can see that I have a bunch of tabs all over the place. Now, the reason I do is because there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of value in here if you're selling insurance. Now, it's as if he took his entire career and wrote each aspect and each part on an index card and then like a deck of cards he shuffled them the only problem with this book is it's all over the place but don't let that uh dismay you in any shape or form because there's a whole lot of information um you can get this book for ten dollars again on amazon the success system that never fails by w clement stone and those are my choices five books that Every insurance salesperson, every insurance producer, everybody who's in the insurance business selling should make part of the library and read them. They're easy reads. Um, you're going to uh, you're going to thank me. You're going to thank you, Mark. You're going to say, Mark, that man took care of us with those books. That I can tell you. Now, it's interesting when you get a system and you learn, especially W. Clement Stone. Now, he built his company in, in the early part of the last century, but he grew it, and he kept on growing it with these foundations. Now... Understand that a lot of this stuff in this book you can't do anymore. I mean, he used to literally walk into a bank, sell one of the tellers, go sell the manager, and then get permission to go through the entire building. Imagine doing that today. Well, you really can't unless you know how to market. Here's a little transition to what I'm about to talk about. With today's social media, you can actually accomplish what W. Clement Stone did, but do it through social media. Now, let me explain. Um, let's talk about Facebook, for instance. We're going to have a Facebook boot camp for insurance producers, um, and it was set for the 16th. We're going to put it off a week because Facebook just changed something, and we think it's going to be a game changer, or it could be a game changer for insurance people. I'm not going to tell you what it is now. You're going to have to wait and find out because it's really cool. But we're going to update that whole training to include those changes because I think it's very important. But 
back to W. Clement Stone and what he was doing. Now, with Facebook, the reason it's like being able to go to a bank is you can target people on Facebook. Now, I'm not talking about target them and you know, bow and arrow. I'm talking about identify your perfect client, your ideal client. And you know, like a billboard, a great example of this would be a billboard. You have a billboard, you pay for the billboard. Up here in New England, Boston, it's going to be $20,000 for a month. And then people drive by the billboard and, you know, thousands of people drive by in a week. And maybe, maybe if you're lucky, only a few people have an interest in what you have. So imagine you put a billboard up and you spent $10,000 on a billboard for the month. And you had a whole bunch of thousands of people drive by that billboard. And then all of a sudden, you got maybe one or two people that are interested and it's not worth the $10,000. Well, what we can do now with social media is the same thing W. Clement Stone did. Go to the bankers, go to the people in the bank building because we can target who our ideal client is. So if you have an ad or a post, you can set the targeting, peel that onion back and really do a good job and get to only those people who it would be pertinent for. In other words, only people who you are, are your ideal customer are going to see what you're posting or advertising. And it's kind of revolutionary. And there are some changes coming up that make it even stronger. So with that, um, I hope you got some value from this video. If you're interested, you know, go check out insurancesalescontrol.com. Uh, if you like what you see, schedule a call. We can help. If you want information on the Facebook boot camp, go to insurancesalescontrol.com forward slash FB bootcamp. That's insurancesalescontrol.com, FB Bootcamp. You'll be glad you did. We'll see you a little bit later. Thanks. Bye-bye.